Hello guys and welcome here to the Hitachi Truck Series race number 18 here today from the Rockingham Speedway. Um, of course today's race length the same as the one earlier. It is a 200 race here. I believe it's the Good Sam 200. I'm Brian here in the booth with you. Starting from the pole will be Pretty Shaw in the number 19, and to her outside will be Michael Collins in the 16. Of course, keep in mind if you check out our Discord, this is the final race before the Truck Series playoffs. A lot is on the line here. It's double points, double playoff points for the second and final time this season. Of course, there's a regular season championship up for grabs. Alexander Rowe holds that um, position at the moment. And keep in mind, the top 20 is going to be the position to watch here today. Because if you finish inside the top 20 with a win, chances are you can make the Hitachi Truck Series playoffs that kick off next weekend in Orlando, Florida. Who will punch their ticket in? Who will miss out? We're going to find out in a moment. But of course, another thing I would like to address that we will have the post race show after this to tell you who made it in and who did not. So stay tuned as we will be right back in a moment. And when we come back, we will have the green flag here from Rockingham in just a moment. Here we go. Cars make their way through turns three and four here at the classic track Rockingham Raceway here. Pace truck is off. Pretty Shaw, Michael Collins, side by side. Green flag waves are underway at Rockingham. Pretty Shaw will lead the opening lap. Of course, keep in mind that is two bonus points as opposed to the one that we normally get. You see the 25, you saw a few trucks bounce off the wall there to start the race. Of course, this track will do that. If you saw yesterday or earlier's race here, the Lift National, of course, they were bouncing off the wall quite a bit in that race. Of course, keep in mind next round or first round of the playoffs. We got Walt Disney World, that'll be next Sunday. Of course, the Truck Series will have a Sunday premiere date. Oh, you see him still bouncing off the wall back there. But again, so the Truck Series will have a Sunday premiere. It'll be, or Sunday uh, showdown here at Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Then after that, they will go to Bristol 
And then they will wrap up the round of 12 at Worldwide Technology Raceway at Gateway. That's all coming your way in the round of 12. And then, of course, the round of 8 will feature Talladega, Watkins Glen, and Martinsville. And then the round, or the championship four, that will be at Ricky Raceway. That's all coming up here on the schedule. And you see some separation back there. I think you just saw the 83 bounce off the walls. Now we got a battle for the lead. That's Zachary O'Reilly in the number six, battling Pretty Shaw in the 19. And Zachary O'Reilly to the race lead. Keep an eye, though, in third. That is Ranvit Core. He's won two out of the last three races. And of course, if he wins here today, that would solidify, I believe, the number one seed for him. Michael Collins looking for second. Again, a reminder, double points at stake here today. Of course, this track technically abandoned right now, but it is in the processes of coming back, to my knowledge. Which means we could be seeing races at the Rock again really, really soon. I don't know if it'll be NASCAR Cup racing. It would be nice to see that. Caution's out. Looks like Mohamed Zain Abdul. Or, I'm sorry, Steve Johnson in the 17. Maybe Mohamed Zain Abdullah in the 88. Ten laps in, I imagine they'd pit seeing that their lap times have fallen off at least a second. Here we go, they're going to pit. Everybody dives down. Whoa, four's got to slow down, and I believe the 83 already pitted, so he'll cycle around. Here we go, four tire stop. It's a battle off the pilling, but I believe the six got the position. Let's go see what happened. 09 Max Anderson, he bounces off the wall, catches the 18 of Scott Upton, the 41 as well. And you see right there, it just causes Mohamed Zain Abdullah to go for a little spin. And then Steve Johnson, just nowhere to go except into the back of the 88. That's a tough break the leaders there and we'll take you back to the green here in just a moment getting ready for the restart here Steve Johnson the only one out of the race that'll take him out of the playoffs for sure it's gonna be Zachary O'Reilly Michael Collins pretty Shaw Dick Clark Randvik Corey your top five then you got Dexter Black Keith Stevens Daniel Gitterow Dylan Jacobs Derek Shelmerdine we're back underway in a lap traffic moment presented by Fitzwater's angriness We'll see how these guys attack the 83. They won't. Sorry about that.
See there, the battle for the lead. Sixteen not going away. Now, finally, the 16 going to back off Ranvikor, going three wide for second, or for third. Three wide for fifth now. Oh, the 98 hit the wall hard, and look at the damage that caused. That 98 is banged up. I hope he can make it with that damage. And it looks like he should be good. Ninety or sixteen pushes up a little bit. You can see there, he's kind of having issues on that long run. I'm wondering if fifty-one just caught the wall. He's lost a little time, and he's getting a little bit of pressure here. And now Derek Shelmerdine under pressure. He's going to lose the spot to Ranbit Core. Also back here, keep in mind Alexander Rowe. He's battling for the regular season title. And then, of course, you've got Jackie Smith, who's trying to close out the number one, or trying to close up that number one seed in the playoffs with four wins this season. Oh, 42. Here we go, battle for the lead is on again. Now they've caught the 83, this could play a factor. Inside, Michael Collins, and he'll take the race lead away. Just look at how spread out this field has gotten. And now the 16 is held up. Battle for the lead again. Zachary O'Reilly takes it back. Keep in mind, Michael Collins, he's in second. He's also in the Jowl Cup Series playoffs right now. And, of course, he'll get his chance tomorrow. Cup Series playoffs gets kicked off here at Rockingham tomorrow afternoon. It'll be a race you won't want to miss. And there you see the 6 trying to put the 83 a lap down. Now the 16 is going to try to follow. Keith Stevens to third right now. He's battling to try to make the playoffs. And he's trying to close in on your two leaders. Then now have clear sailing ahead.
And they're going to pit, I think. No, just the six slowed down way too much. Might have caught a piece of the apron. Allowed the 16 to close right up. And man, he gets right to the bumper. But has to let up. Here we go, this battle is just heating up. Michael Collins not going anywhere. Here we go, battle for the lead into turn three and four. And it's a battle back to the line, too. Caution's out. Michael Collins going to lead him back. I'm wondering what happened here. With 10 to go. It's our second caution of the race. And this is the money stop. Oh, the one is blown up. Alexander Rowe, his day is over, and this will end his bid for the regular season title. Terrible way to go out with ten, nine to go now. Right side's only on the 16. He'll get the lead for now. Camshaft for the one. Heartbreak here. Let's go see what happened. Close racing back here as everybody's pitting, and you see there Henry, you know... 21's trying to let out. He knows he's going to hit the wall. Henry Sanford, I don't think, recognized that. And he hooks the 21, spins him right around. Of course, right in front of traffic. That's why the caution comes out. Tough break for Roberto Crown Jr. We'll take you back to the green. Getting ready for the restart here. It'll be Michael Collins, Zachary O'Reilly, Daniel Guitero. Dylan Young, Jackie Smith, Max Anderson, or I'm sorry, uh, Tim Randolph, Hans Dubois, Quentin Moore, Dexter Black, and Derek Shelmerdine. That is your top ten. As the green flag will fly another lap traffic moment presented by Fitzwater's Angriness with six laps of racing to go. Let's see the lapped cars get away. For now, how much pressure will Michael Collins have? A lot. Here comes the six. He'll take the lead away. Daniel Gittero trying to follow for second. Keep in mind, Gittero with a win could punch his ticket in. Same with the six. Five to go. What about the two of Dylan Young? He could win his way in, possibly. Those are things these guys are definitely thinking about. Four laps of racing to go here at Rockingham.
Zachary O'Reilly in the thick of it with traffic. He'll take a lap away from Dan Hummel. Now he's going to try to do the same to Keith Stevens. Two laps of racing to go this time. Keep in mind if Zachary O'Reilly takes the white flag, race is over. White flag this time, one lap of racing to go, presented by Mitchell's Memes. Can the sixth hang on? Zachary O'Reilly has dominated the day. Battled with Michael Collins for quite a bit there during the, during the stretch. And he's going to end up the one in victory lane. Zachary O'Reilly, he'll win today at Rockingham. Congratulations to the six. They get the job done. And might have just punched their ticket into the playoffs. Of course, we will get the final answer to that in just... A few seconds here. So we're going to show you your results. We'll be back in about 15 seconds with the post race here on GCN. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the uh, Hitachi Truck Series post-race show. Congratulations again to Zachary O'Reilly. He is the winner today here at Rockingham, and he will make the playoffs. He moved up 12 spots. He was on the outside looking in, and he gets in with tw uh, 13 playoff points. As you can see, uh, Ranvit Core, unfortunately, he will fall outside of the top 20 and that will end his playoff bid and unfortunately he will not make it in neither will uh, Dick Clark or Mohammed Zain Abdullah tough break for those two anyway let's take a look now at the playoffs of course congratulations to Hans Dubois he will be a winless driver in the playoffs entering the round of 12 it'll be Jackie Smith Justin Jason, Hans Dubois, Zachary O'Reilly, Karen James, Pretty Shop, Quentin Moore, Tim Randolph, Derek Shelmerdine, Anna Gonzalez, Alexander Rowe, and Henry Sanford. Those 12 will make up the S Season 2 Hitachi Truck Series playoffs. And again, I want to just clarify I got this right. Okay, I double checked to be sure it was correct. So with that, we want to say thank you for watching, and we will see you next weekend when the Hitachi Truck Series opens the playoffs at Walt Disney World. Until then, goodbye everyone.